Town of Shadow, a town quite unwell. The Baron thinks he's fighting the Devil's Swell. A refuge of quiet, the blue water in, hunters and brothers, and ringmaster within. When out on the street, there arose such a clatter. Mm -mm. <laughs> the team confronted Isaac. Corvus made some chatter. They rescued an old lady. They felt in the zone. But now they have to find old St. Andrew's bones. Welcome, friends. Back to Barovia. The town of Valaki, where all may be, maybe, well. <laughs> wow. You had met some sundry characters inside the Blue Water Inn, including the owners, a couple of hunters, um, some noble drunks, and a, ring a circus ringmaster. Um, when you heard a scuffle outside, and found that there was a the mayor baron uh, Vlakovich of the town and his a few of his henchmen, including a demon armed hulking brute named Izek, um, who were accosting a old lady. What do you do to you? Hit all the NPCs, so not, oh, that's not true, I don't hit all of them. Just the majority. Most of them. A lot of them are jerks. Mostly. <laughs> um, so, Ro hates Wilhelmina. Got it. Yep. Got it. That one, too. Is that the pie lady? That pie lady can go to hell. No, Wilhelmina's the old lady whose grandson is in the stocks. Oh, I guess, I guess we'll help her. Uh, after the scuffle diminished, you uh, you all were able to uh, t talk the um, the Baron into letting the old woman go, saying that you would um, take responsibility for her um, her happiness, yeah, for making sure that she she turned her attitude around. It's just the worst. You then met Father Lucian uh, Petrovich of um, Vallaki, of the Church of the Morning Lord, Church of St. Andrew. And he led you back to the church um, where you discovered that the holy relic, the bones of St. Andrew, had been stolen. Um, and without them, the, uh, the holy consecration that protects the grounds of the church would fade in but a few days. They were not recovered, so the ritual could be reperformed. Um, with some internal investigation from Silas and some external um, boots work from uh, Corvus and Lee, uh, you all, all were able to put together uh, sundry facts and uh, discovered that it was the groundskeeper Milavage who who stole the bones. Um, uh, and I believe we left with him, you bringing him back to the church for the final confrontation, right? We, we left kind of before his... He was coming he was clean. About to spill the beans. About to spill the beans. We got a picture of Milavage somewhere. There he is. Okay. Um. Yeah, I believe we left off with him saying something like. I didn't know it would be so much trouble. It was just some bones. And uh, Father Lucian said, Oh, Milavage. <laughs> Fade black. Um, there you go. There's Milavage. Uh, so, uh, Milavage uh, says, I promise, Father, I didn't think it would do anything. I... Uh, 
Yeska, you told me about the bones after you, uh, you, I overheard you talking to him, and I overheard you telling him about the, the bones keeping everything safe. I admit I was eavesdropping. I was told uh, to find out information on the bones from the local, the coffin maker, Henrik. I knew he was of some. Son of a it. bitch. He, he promised me some money for, for my family, for my brothers and sisters, if I were to get him the bones. Is Henrik the one that almost dropped a coffin on somebody? Yeah. Smacked me, almost smacked me with a board. Exactly, of course. He was a jumpy, jumpy, jumpy little guy. That was the I coffin maker? Yep. Since he was jumpy, we should have grabbed him. We should have grabbed him. Should have grabbed him. Should have scooped him. Foreshadowing. He was a little too jumpy. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, you want Lee and I to go get him? We're pretty good at it. Oh, um, Father, Father Lucian says, I, my hand is, my hands have been out of this for far too long. If you're going to the shop, I'm coming with you. I will not have any, any further confrontation without being there to make sure the peace is maintained. Uh, I look, I look over at Lee like a, like a choking, like, is that cool with you? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, Lee, like, kind of like cracks his knuckles, and he's like, "Time to see how deep this rabbit hole goes." <laughs> oh, what Henrik the coffin maker? Um, the coffin maker. Um, I think Father Lucian would look at look up down at your hands, and then up to your face and say the truly wise know to use their words before they use their fists he points pointedly at your mouth and then down at your fists <laughs> though there is a time for both the wise know when to distinguish the two Sometimes I've found You're saying that... I'm not wise. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Sometimes I've found that the proper words can preclude the need for fists. He just he he nods. Well said. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck this guy up. Wait, that's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I am curious about uh, Millivage. Did he, in fact, pay you after, I'm assuming, you gave him these bones? Where are they now? <clears throat> oh, I don't know where they went. He, he, did, he didn't pay me. I don't... <sighs> he, he looks at you warily. Why are you looking at him so warily? You see, he be... he's super poor. He asked him about money. Warily. Uh, you said he <laughs> didn't get paid, right? He did. He said he did get paid. Oh, did. Oh, he's worried you're going to take the money from him. Yeah. <laughs> well, out of curiosity, son, how much do uh, ancient bones go these days? Um. Gave me a, a gold piece for him. Perception check. No. Insight check. What what do they call it here? Uh, it's perception. No Thomas the Tech Engine. Do I believe him? Um, yeah. You don't think he's concealing anything? Hmm. So much for a priceless ancient relic, eh? I thought they were worthless. I thought they were just bones. Bones. Uh... Oh, Millivage. <laughs> oh, Millivage. Oh, Millivage. 
Yes, because Whoa. everyone knows your priceless possessions that are worthless you, you hide under a secret crypt that only a few know about. Um, Milovaj, like, just flushes and just looks down at the floor. Hmm. I feel like Milovaj is due for some penance, but I, don't trust. I wouldn't turn him over to the town guard. Father, perhaps you should oversee what redemption he needs um i don't father, want to do that <laughs> father lucian looks at him and says well i uh i he, he no actually he just sort of like quietly stares at milavage for a few moments and says milavage if i leave with these people will you stay here until i return um, and Milavage just like silent, still looking at the floor, just sort of like nods his head and sits down on a pew. Uh, Lucian stares at him for a few more quiet moments. He's got that like, that weighty, like, stern grandfather stare. Mm. Just like, you can tell he's, he's like, Weighing this young man's soul as he stares at him, <laughs> you get the feeling. You've been disappointed, um, Dad. It's it's more like he's 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 reading. He's like really stopping a moment to like get a good read on Milavaj and where he's at right now. And after a few moments, Lucian just sort of like nods and says, "All right." Um. And he, uh, he picks up, like, a walking stick from the, uh, from against the wall, from against, near the front wall. Um, I do have a question. This, this, um, what is he, The Undertaker? Is that what it was? The Coffin Maker. <laughs> Off maker. Um, does his office have uh, just one entry point? It is I've only entered through the front. He, <clears throat> I believe, he has a shop in the Erisex Stockyards. Hmm. Perhaps here comes a map. Near the Arasex stock stockings, yes. Well, perhaps when we go and have a conversation, some of us should surround the area, so to speak. Are we planning to jump him? No, I just don't want him to run at the side of some actual authority all will be well uh, surely he would not be able to run with the bones carrying up the bones were rather large a large sack I don't think he would be able to sneak away with the bones so I, I trust your judgment in these things don't you look at me. <laughs> yeah. Give me the grandfather stare now. I just, I found a couple guilty people over my years and they tend to bolt when confronted. That's all. He just nods. I am there for support and to make sure that the people of this town come to none, no undue harm. This, as I was unable to get these bones on my own, and they disappeared under my watch. I trust your judgment and will follow your lead. Don't you look at me. He's not unkind in his look. He's looking at me. He's looking at you. Well, friends, any bright ideas before we make our way? <laughs> 
Oh, dumb ideas. I'm, I'm up for a dumb idea. Seems like it should be a simple enough encounter. What? Did, did we figure out why he wants the bones? Why he took the bones? Is he trying to destroy them so that the church is open to attack? Or is there some other reason? Guess that's what we'll have to ask him. If he's already destroyed the bones, this may all be for naught. I guess we shouldn't waste any more time. Have faith, my friend. St. Andrew was made of strong stuff, and I believe his bones will be made of strong stuff as well. Faith. Okay. <laughs> I faith. I faith. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I can lead you there. It's on the edge of the Arasax Arasax stock stockyards. I feel like you made that word up. Can you see <gasps> there it down is? Here? Wow. All right. Wee. Look at us go. Faster than speeding bullet. So, um, he's gonna lead you up. That way, you get to the edge of the air sec guards. Um, uh, on the way there, uh, Father Lucian, you know, says, I've worked with Milivaj many times in the past. He's a good carpenter, and I know him, I know him to be reasonable. I, I believe we can reason with him, and that this will not be necessary. Um, uh, Andy, on the way, yep. uh, Lee's gonna look for like a food stall and just you know grab something that's like a quick like to go food item. Sure. Uh, from uh, from the church. Uh, it could be from the church, just like whatever's around, you know, like chicken on okay. a stick or whatever. Um, Get your chicken the... head, chicken on a stick. <laughs> there is, yeah, I bet at the church you could probably find some like basic bread and stuff that Father Lucian would be happy to part with. Probably just some basic fare for just on the road. Uh, there's probably um, stalls along the way of um, there's lots of like raw vegetables, a lot of root vegetables. Um, there's probably a, a, there's probably someone there who's selling some more like game game type animals as well yeah just looking for like something that's already like cooked or prepared you know, like chicken on a stick yeah just something you can just grab and go sure on a stick. it's just a like a chicken neck on a stick mm -hmm. um yeah you see some you see some food stalls on the way you can easily grab some food uh probably just basic fare um all of it looks like it's probably pretty pretty bland though and boring and just you know it's not gonna taste super good. Not, not gonna be like those meat pies. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah, he'll he'll grab like he'll grab two two uh two whatever, you know, something whatever's available and you know, on toss him a couple coppers. And then uh as they're kinda walking towards the stockyards, he uh he rolls up alongside Corvus and hands him, you know, one one of the items and he's like uh it's a pie <laughs> he'll hand him a pie and be like how about another round partner what well that is where where did you get this pie <laughs> you know there, there's food stalls along the street that's just you know you swing by and grab something you'll grab and go uh in, in food you you know uh i am Maybe it's this town, but I am just not at all hungry. But oh my gosh, am I? I am tickled pink. But I'm gonna hard pass that. Just nothing in this town is what it seems. <laughs> Lee kind of like shrugs. He's like, "Well, more for me." <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably right around lunchtime, so y'all are probably getting a little bit hungry. 
Um, this um, old man um, starts doddering down the road. He is rather hunched and leans heavily on his walking stick. Um, he seems to be like a fairly large, was once a pretty large statured man, but is probably stooping, um, reducing him by maybe like a half a foot or a foot from his normal, like probably pretty, like pretty large height. Um, you're guessing that in his prime, he was, uh, he was a pretty, pretty stalwart guy. Who's this? Father Lucian? Father Lucian. Oh, okay. I thought we were talking about. Yeah. I was like, we're about to kill some so, man on the street. As a kid, it's old and jumpy. Oh man! No, Lucian is old. old. He's leading you down the street, so he's oh. sort of like leaning heavily on the staff and starts walking down the street. Um. Okay. Uh, I have questions for him. Sure. Father, did you grow up here, or did you find your way here? Oh no, I have. I am a. I've always lived in Barovia. I was born here. Uh, my family came from uh, the west end of the valley. Uh, but I lived here for most of my life. And the people that find their way here from other, from other lands. Mm. Um, do you think they were sent here, any of them? He, uh, he does that thing that old guys do when they think you've said something profound and he stops walking suddenly and turns to look at you. Haven't we all been sent where we are in one way or another? Sure. <laughs> Half by our actions, and half out of our control is life. <clears throat> I get to... He starts walking again. Oh, I want to like this guy so much. Yeah, I think... He says, Everything happens for a reason, and I believe everyone is here for a reason. I think there is a reason that I am the last of my family, and I am here in this town at this time. And perhaps... I think there is a reason that the bones were stolen. For if the bones were not stolen, I would not have found my way down to the square where you were confronting the Baron. I would still have been in my church. Who knows what violence may have happened then? Everything happens for a reason. He nods. Even the worst things. He will... He gets a lot of, like, hellos. Not, not like, from everyone, but from quite a few people as you guys are walking along the streets. Seems to be pretty well regarded by people. Um, but he will eventually lead you to this, the side of town... Um, bum, 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 bum. There it is. Um, you see, you get to the edge of a large um, stockyard um, with several sheds kind of lining its periphery um, with a large uh, warehouse at one end of it. A uh, wooden sign above the front gate reads Arisex Stockyards. Um, at the south end of the stockyard you see a sturdy carnival wagon with its colorful paint peeling off 
Um, uh, there is a Carnival of Wonders sign uh, that is freshly painted and brand new on its side. Carnival of Wonders. Sorry, it's Rick Tavio's Carnival of Wonders. It's, it's more explicit. Oh, than we that. know him. Yeah, you know him. Um, but he sort of leads you past the um, the edge of the stockyards towards um, a building, sort of right at the right near the entrance of the stockyards. Um, you see an uninviting shop, two stories tall. I think I actually have a picture of it. I got pictures of so many things. Let's see. Sure do. Abe, you loaded so fast. Um, I mean, where am I at? Oh, I probably still have token vision. Ninety-eight percent. Save changes. There we go. Um, there's a sign shaped like a coffin above the front door. All of the window shutters are closed up tight, and a deathly silence surrounds the establishment. Also, it has been raining since you guys um, exited from the church this afternoon. Rain, rain, rain. I mean, of course there's rain. Uh-huh. It's going to bother me. Well, here we are. This place certainly looks uninviting, doesn't it? Uh, Henrik is not a popular man, being, well, the profession that he is. He's much, a bit of a pariah amongst the people of town. Though I found him to be polite and reasonable. Um, is, is there, um... Like, can you actually get around the back side of the building? Sure. Yeah, you can walk around it. Uh, yeah. Uh, I kind of look at Ro, um, and I and I say, I'm gonna take a step to the back. Mm -hmm. You keep your wits about you. I don't trust anything about this. Uh, curiosity's sake, where's, um, where's my crow at? Is she still gone? Um, I think she probably flies back right about now. Oh. <laughs> wow. She is. <laughs> well, look at, look, what luck. Uh, and then I, I smile at Ro. I'll see you in a moment. And I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna walk around the back. Walk around the back. Um, the raven flies over to Lee and starts pecking at whatever pocket you have the second pie in. <laughs> uh, he'll pull it out and just kind of hold it in his palm. Um, it takes it takes off a chunk of crust and then flies back to flies back to uh, Corvus. Well, maybe that pie was okay. <laughs> All right, so Corvus is heading around back. Where's everyone else going? Uh, Lee's going to roll up to the front door, and he'll just kind of lean against the wall next to it and uh, and wait for either Corvus to come back or if somebody else wants to charge in. Okay. Um, how about you, Silas? What are you doing? I think you're muted, Dane. Whoops. <laughs> um, I guess I will... Light it up. Light that house okay. up. <laughs> Go up to the door and knock. 
Mm -hmm. Adding up to the door? Yep. Do you want to go with squirms? You can come with. I won't be offended. No. No, you're fine. You got this. Okay. And roll a new character. Uh, remember that time Corvus went off by himself with a vampire lady? <laughs> I do remember that. That's true. I do you remember that? Alright, um... Rolex torn, and then she follows Corvus. Oh, okay. fantastic. Okay. He can't be trusted. He's proven this. Um, so as you guys are walking around the back, you do see that there's another door. door. You can probably actually see right behind these boxes, there's a door along the side of the building. Mm. All of the windows you see are all shuttered. I'll uh, knock on the door and say, uh, hello? Okay. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. you hear a shout, muffled shout from inside. We're closed. Go away. Uh, is it, is it Heinrich? Uh, we met earlier at the church. You, you almost knocked me unconscious with a board that you're carrying. No business today. Listen, uh, we need to talk to you about something. Can you please open the door? <laughs> Leave me alone. Silas is going to look over at uh, at Lee and kind of shrug, step to the side, and he just kind of goes like this to the door. <laughs> uh, Andy, just curiosity's sake, was that loud enough we could hear that? Yeah, um, you hear you hear some muffled shouting. Okay. Um, it's a little harder to hear from where you are, back, okay. back around Carry. the side. Uh, you guys, you can easily be peeking, can you? Lee, you could probably easily have an eye on like what's happening here, and you see the other people have like clocked this door door in the back as well. Okay. So you're you're kind of I'll just say that you are in a position you could be aware of both groups at this time. Okay. Um. Yeah. So seeing a reaction to Silas, uh, Lee will like take his fist and he'll pound on the door, and I'll be like, "Temple Police, open up!" Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Um, uh, there's a there's a long pause and oh, what do you say to that? Um I don't know no police. No temple police. Leave me alone. I don't think he's gonna open the door, Lee. You might have to, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Lee will say, uh he'll say, well, you're going to get to know us one way or the other. We can do this either the nice way or the not so nice way. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pause with you guys and I want to check in with um, you guys hear the, the door pounding on the front and you hear some muffled, muffled voice coming from inside. One muffled voice coming from inside. This is Roe and Corvus, by the way. Um, so what are you two doing? Um, so I am, I am hand gesturing about either like breaking in the door or like picking up are there actual crates by the door by the way sure okay or like picking up the crates and putting them in front of the door i'm miming it's all gonna, that rose gonna shake her head and just try to indicate that like you get on one side of the door all the other will guard it so suddenly it's a break for it will tackle them I l corvus looks a little sad and then I nod. So you're just guarding, guarding the back door? Guarding the back door in case I make a break for it. Okay. And I'm going to look at my spells for no reason. All right, back in the front. <laughs> uh, let me look here. So make sure I'm I'm ready with 
whatever I might need to be ready with. So that's so that. Oh, can I add one more thing, Andy? Sure. Since Rachel couldn't see this anyways. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna cast my invisible telekinesis hand and make it like rise up and kinda like rap on the window on the second floor. Okay. <clears throat> you can do that anywhere you can see. Yeah, it's within thirty feet. <clears throat> okay. I'll levitate slowly uh, up to twenty feet in any direction afterwards. I'm gonna retrieve my hand crossbow out of my bag and then sure. I kinda stand up next to the door, look at Lee. <sighs> Give a nod. <laughs> what of trouble are you anticipating? He's Never just, be too careful. He's just a coffin maker. <laughs> Hell is just he's, a uh... <laughs> I, I doubt he wanted those bones just for himself. He might be consorting with somebody else. A lot of dark arts being practices, practiced in this land. Uh, does he respond at all to uh, to Lee's second uh, threat, I guess? What was the threat? Uh, he said, uh, you know, you're going to get to know us one way or the other. We can do it the nice way or the not so nice way. Leave me alone! <laughs> Stand back, father. About to get ugly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, hearing that, Lee's gonna attempt to break down the door. Okay, you may make an athletics check. Do it, do it, Lee. You have a crowbar or anything? He doesn't need a crowbar. They're called. Well, that was a journey. He's <laughs> got crow and bar right here. <laughs> do I have a crowbar? I have a fire poker, but not a crowbar. Okay. Um, so you, you, um, thump into the door and it does not, it does not budge with your, with your athletics check. Um, it seems to be pretty sturdily made. Okay. Man, man is a carpenter after all. I think you loosened it. <laughs> I was I was off balance. Let, let me give it, a, give it another shot. Um, the I think the Father Lucian lets out a breath and says, "Words have failed," and he will <laughs> say, "The Morning Lord is also a god of action," and. Will cast guidance upon you. What? Fuck yeah, he is. All right. <laughs> Level twenty. So you have plus one to your next, your next check. Plus one. Okay. And plus one circumstance. And let's not roll three. Oh. Two instead. Two instead. Two instead. Hey. Then roll three. You know what? Screw it. Let's hero point it. Yeah. Hero point. Yeah. yeah. You gotta roll Nine one now. Yeah. Oh. About to get a Thomas. No Thomas. No screen. Thomas. Oh, Thomas! Damn it! Yeah. <laughs> uh, three, three, two, one. Off the side of that. Wow. Um, uh, you, in the back, you all hear some thumping up the door from the front. Uh, I, I pull out... Well, first of all, is the door locked? You want to check the door? I want to check the door. Okay. Uh, you reach up and take the handle. And you find that the door is locked. I would like to. Pu I pull out. I pull out my my thieves' tools. Sure. And I look at Row, but I don't wait for a response, and I try to pick the lock. Um. So you actually see that there is no lock mechanism here. Mother From what it sounds like, it sounds like there is a bar behind the door, mm -hmm. barred. So there's look, not actually a mechanism for you to to thieve. I look back at Row. I blush a little bit and I put it back in my pocket. <laughs> hmm. 
Lee, Lee looks at Silas and Philo Lucy and he's like, I, I swear this has never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of pressure. You're putting you on the spot. A pie shoulder. You <laughs> <laughs> got a pie shoulder. Uh, see if I have anything here. Um, there's a bar behind the door, though. It's not going to do this much yep. good. Yep. It looks Maybe. like with your passive investigation here, you could probably see that there's no actual like locking mechanical locking mechanism. Um, Light the house on fire and smoke them out. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Let's to the father. I don't know, father. Can you can you coax them out? Maybe you know Heinrich. You know the Heimlich. Um. Uh, the father Lucian would say, Henrik. Henrik, sorry. Broder. It's me. Uh, we know about the bones, and we're told that they are here. Where are where are they? We've come to get them and be on our way. They must be returned. Leave me alone. Son of a bitch. Could you could you maybe make some smoke without actually setting the building on fire? It's not a bad idea. Well, um probably not without some time. I think um, you um oh, what's this? this? What about these shutters? Can we open these shutters? Wanna check out the shutters? I do want to check out these shutters. Um, <clears throat> so you can see they're drawn um, in between. Make a perception check. Uh, I love those. <laughs> All good tonight, guys. Um, you see um, a what looks to be some kind of like a storage room. You see multiple. Um, this is just looking between slats, so it's a little bit a little bit hard to say, hard to tell. Um, but you do see that the behind the shutters is frosted glass, so it's actually hard to see through the glass. But you see, there's frosted glass with um, uh, like an iron lattice work, so it's almost like uh, yeah, iron bars across the across the uh, windows, okay, um, and there's a there's like a latch inside. Uh, you can see there's like a latch holding it closed inside the glass. Dude is serious about his home security. He is. Could I, um, could I use my crafting to maybe sure. try to see if there's a way to get leverage on the door or maybe compromise the drawer doors? Get the hinges off from the outside? Yeah. So, sure. Gonna do it. I'm gonna do it and not roll a one. <laughs> Five's better than <laughs> wow. <laughs> 17. Get these, get these hot rolls out of the way. So you, you're you able to uh, jimmy the door um, a little bit to see that there is like a wooden um, a wooden bar across the door. Um, just from your own crafting knowledge, you would guess that it would be like affixed to some metal brackets on the walls to either side of the door um, and also on the door itself. But you do, but you can see the bar like through a through a crack between the door and the jam. The door is barred. That's why it's not yielding very easily. Bet if you it's not you, Lee. Three. <laughs> it's the door. It's not me. It's the door. <laughs> uh, uh, um, Andy, as I'm peering inside, can I recast telekinetic hand inside uh -huh. on the other side of the glass? Sure can. I would like to flick that little. Um, you hear a little, and the the latch spins around. I look back at Row. I giggle. <laughs> and then I want to, I want to try to open the lattice work. Mm -hmm. And then, can. can the glass pane move at all? 
Yeah, yeah. So it's it's two two panes of of glass in the window. Um, actually, it's probably just a single pane of glass that has that that's like can like tip set into like an iron an iron grid frame. Okay. So the whole the whole iron frame like swings out with the glass window. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Yeah, it swings out. You open you open both the shutters and then the pane of glass sort of swings out and the window is open into the room. I, I, oh, I nice. do one of these. We could go in there. In there. <laughs> Uh, I sent a message. We could go in there right now. <laughs> I think she probably got it. Mm -hmm. You gonna reply to this one? Uh, I will just nod, and she will <laughs> draw her mace. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. What do I see inside, Andy? One second. Um, question. Oh, no. How do I? Oops. Um, how do I? Oh, how do I? Move oh, specific do I? people to a map. Uh oh. Drag their name onto the. Or the map. <laughs> Did you catch the all that? Bottom. Um. So I can just, like, grab. Grab. Oh, grab the player, like, down here. <clears throat> yeah, grab me down there. Oh. <laughs> he said it. I did oh. it. Oh! Oh, I don't. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. um, he's a skinwalker, isn't he? I, everything's fine. Everything fine. This is okay, fine. <laughs> oh, this is off alone yet again. That's all right. I have five dying saving throws, so it's fine. <laughs> Open the door. Um, I don't know what's happening here. There's like a drawing there that I don't know how to get rid of. The little, the little white drawing thing. I wouldn't worry about that. Like, wouldn't worry about it. Or you see it? This thing here. You see what I'm it. talking about? Oh, I see it. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> I see it. I'm I see it. You'll see it in a minute. I was messing around with stuff, and I yeah. thought. Mm -hmm. That did not. It. Fine. So, uh, yeah, you see that? You see inside there is a. Doo -doo. Um, you see a bunch of wood, musty. No, sorry, a bunch of 13 wooden coffins arrayed about this musty L shaped Leslie. rooms. Oh, man. Why 13? Right? Um, I don't know. I don't know in the front if you guys would hear what's happening around the side. So I don't know that Silas yeah. and Lee know yet what's happening. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll, I'll go back to you two, unless unless someone unless you two around the side wanted to let them know in the front what's happening. Um, truthfully, I had planned on sending a message if we were going inside. So if if Ro draws her mace, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to. Yeah, I'll send it to Silas. Uh, I may or may not be performing a breaking and an entering right now. Can you open the front door? Is my reply. I cast message again. <laughs> Wait, do I see the front door? Is a real question. I don't want to. I don't want to go in yet. I'm just kind of looking from where I'm standing. Um, you from where you're standing, you see that there's a few doors over in this direction okay. of the room, but not the front door. 
you see three doors over there. All right, I will reply. Uh, I don't think I can see the front door from where we are. I'm seeing doors, but not the door. We'll come around the side. It's not that big of a building, so like <clears throat> you can you can probably see from the outside how big the building is. I'm gonna tell Lee, Corvus and Row are inside. We must have found a way in. <laughs> I guess uh, no use trying this door anymore. We should go around the side, maybe. Yeah, let's go join them. Um, and Lee turns to Father Lucian and he says, uh, maybe you should wait here. It might be a little dangerous. You can keep an eye on the front in case he comes out. Um, it's, uh, it's Father Lucian? Yeah. Okay. Um, he, he, he looks at you warily and, and nods. Uh, Lee, Lee says, uh, also, you know, after getting the look from the father, he'll say, um, uh, he says, you know, I won't harm him unless it's absolutely necessary. He he nods and says, "I don't believe him to be a bad man." It's not him I'm worried about. He is nuts. All right, we'll go around the side, find where they're entering. Sure. Yeah, I uh, I would not wait too long after our last message to carefully step inside in case you missed it carefully how carefully well I'll tell you in a second like checking for traps carefully like an 18 carefully Ooh. very stealthy okay you get it fairly silently Uh, I, I will kind of step aside trying to let Ro get in. Oh, it's going to bother me. Why is that there? Yeah, but why is that there, Andy? I don't know. I, hate I don't it. know why. I hate it so much. I hate it too. Um, What's this? It's a star for a job well What's done. That? Yeah, that's right. What's this? Because it's not showing up on like my, my drawings. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I love it as long as, you know, it doesn't, yeah. As long as this isn't like a pentagram that you didn't finish, I'm fine with it. Um, so yeah, you, you basically looks like a, like a kind of a coffin display room kind of thing. Storage room. Why are there 13? I don't know. Great. While I wait Lucky for number. Ro, I'm going to, I'm going to carefully open this coffin. Why are you been coughing? I have what to know. What are you doing? I you let me go in first. <laughs> Why did we do that? Coughing, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> uh, it's empty. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. You asked. You open this one. Uh, I open the one I'm standing in front of. So this that one. one. Okay. That, yeah, that one's empty. Why? That one's empty. Oh, right. I At least that's you, close. Andy. We should probably open the rest so of them just much. in case. I'm stepping in. I'm stepping in. As you step in, I'm floor. starting to open this one. Ro <laughs> looks at you because you're like, what the fuck look? Yeah, that's not. this isn't actually there. In fact, I don't even see it, so I'm not sure why. No, there's like a creepy pentagram on the floor. I, yeah, I, saw, I, I saw that whenever I was clicking on your guys, but I don't know why. It's a summoning circle. I don't like it. Is there a Ouija board? I don't know why. Alright, I stopped opening it. Because I do not see it on my own screen, but if I select your token, I see it. So I don't know. Yeah. Bro gives Corvus like, what the fuck? And then... I imported this from a guy, so I'm not sure. Motions him towards the doors along the left wall. Uh, you mean down here? Or down here? Uh, sure. Here? And then she'll go the other way. But she's gonna, like, send you one way and she'll go the other way. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of check out these doors to see if there's anything, you know, um... <laughs> you know, I or doubt there's gonna be... Oh, these are windows, or where where she went? Where where row is are both oh, windows? Okay, so I'm I'm looking at these oh, doors. Both windows. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm looking for you know like any kind of differences. 
there. Yeah. I doubt oh, he's going to have a sign that says bathroom on it, but, you know, I'm looking for just subtle differences. It's also windows, then. Windows. Open all those windows! <laughs> yeah, um, so those Why two you are next to um, don't have any signs on them. They're just plain wooden doors. They don't look like the exterior door of the, of the place, though. Okay. We heard him when we called in here. I wonder if he's in here. Uh, There's three doors? Uh-huh. Bing, bing, Which bing. Side is the, so I'm assuming if this is the back of the house, then I'm assuming this this is the front of the... You were on the side of the side house. Side of the house. Side, oh, okay. Yeah, so the front's like way down here. Okay. Somewhere. Yeah. I correct. don't remember how big it is. Right. Damn it. Well, yeah, at least we know like the general orange. It, it was like 50 feet, maybe. I want to throw away my mace. I feel like drawing my mace was hasty. We're not at that point. Okay. I draw to... my sword. No. We want I to, still like, have my crossbow. <laughs> I put away my mace. I don't want to like kick over her with a mace in my hand. That feels too aggressive. Sure. I draw my fists. Uh, I am. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I I want to. I want to open this door. Okay. I'm not saying it, I'm uh, just opening it. Sure. You see a workshop. Um, this looks like a carpenter's workshop. It contains everything a carpenter needs to make coffins and furniture. Like a crowbar? There are, um, maybe, probably. Three sturdy work tables stretch the length of the west wall. Um, also, there is a man in here who's hunkering down next to the far door. A um, it's a man. Is the uh, does it feel like the outside door? Uh, yeah, yeah, that looks like the outside door. Let me let me make it get him real quick. Um. I forgot to make his token, so I'm doing that now. There he is. Look how easy it is to make tokens in this, guys. Shaboom, apply. You're doing it, Peter. Got him. You're doing it. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about the door, huh? Uh, so I'm going to creepily walk in and by creepily I mean quietly um just matching his vibe creepily and I'm and yeah he doesn't seem to notice you um he's sort of leaning against the the wall near the door and is just sort of like breathe, breathing heavily he was, his hands sort of like this and he's just leaning leaning against it uh well you hear, you hear him muttering to himself I think they left I think they left I have that. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna step here, and then I uh, I say calmly, "I noticed there was a draft in the back, sir." So. <laughs> uh, the the man jumps and turns backing up into the door right behind him here, uh, which clatters in its frame. Ooh, I can see it now. Can I Can I delete it? God damn it, it went away. <laughs> Why can't... This is really bothering me. Maybe it... I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I know. It's like when I have tokens collected, <laughs> I can see it. But whenever I imported this thing, it wasn't there. I don't know. Sourced. Whatever. Does he does he go through the door or just stumbles stumbles? No 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 no. It just it just shakes in its frame okay. uh, a little bit, and he, and he clutches at his chest. You you see, and I put my hands up. The father asked us to have a very calm conversation with you. We just um, his he slides his back just sort of like slides down the door and he slumps onto the ground on his on his ass oh, he gave up. and he, he just he just he's just sort of like shaking and clutches his hands around his head and his whole body is kind of just shaking and he looks down at the ground 
Uh, I'm gonna just calmly walk a little closer. The question becomes, who sent you for these bones? Um, you have to, um, you got to protect me. Well, of course. I don't come alone. It's the vampires. They're here. Wait. They're in my shop. They'll kill me if I help you. In this shop? Right now? <laughs> I love that you're hiding she's... behind Ro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing. She came to the door and I came behind her like... <laughs> he just, he just and points towards the ceiling. The b -b bones are up there too. The fuck. You knew we should have burned the place down? Yep. You said the vampires are here now? Right now? <laughs> How do we get to the second floor? Um, he, he nods the way you came and says, stairs going upstairs. Um, the, the b bones are in my w wardrobe. The in bedroom? my bedroom. They're across the hall from my bedroom. If, if you're quiet, you might be able to get them. I'm going to get real close. Huh? And I say, leave this shop. Go with the father outside. If you remain, you won't last. Um, while he's talking, I'm going to bust out my silver salve and put it all over my mace. Oh, no. <laughs> just oh, so <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm putting it on my weapon, mm -hmm. my mace. <laughs> Jack. Just in case anybody <laughs> tells body me whip. anywhere, <laughs> silver everywhere. <laughs> Slather it on. Hey. Um, Henrik. Henrik stands up and and lifts the. He nods at you, and lifts the bar off the door. And as soon as um, he starts to open the door, um, Father Lucian is almost like pushing, pushing his way in and say, I heard a clatter in here. Uh, I, oh shit, do I have, nope, I didn't. Um, I'm just going to say, um, I guess a little quieter, but loud enough that, you know, Old man, Lucian can hear us. Uh, perhaps it'd be better. And I tap my ear. Uh, in a safe place, and then I'm gonna quickly cast a message that just says, "Our friends are upstairs. Take him somewhere safe." And then I, I'm not gonna wait. I'm gonna turn around. While that is happening, Ro isn't really discussing a message, but Ro is going to say quietly to Lucian, you two stay right here and keep talking. Loudly. Um. Father Lucian stands up a little bit straighter and prouder and says, I will not let you go to danger in my town unattended. This guy's badass. I'm going to be real sad when he dies. Can't do this stupid bone ritual. He's just there. His, yeah. his, bones, his bones creak as he walks towards you. There he is. Look at him. Oh, right. he's yep. so badass. Um, oh, he's staring Corvus down that row. Okay. No, he I'll, walks. I'll step he... away. Oh my god. Stop. Okay. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse okay, me. okay. Uh, Ro looks in the eyes and says to him softly, You two stay here and keep talking. We need a diversion. We're using, um, his, we're using you as bait. <laughs> 
Um, Henrik looks outside and says, They sleep during the day. They're probably asleep right now. Great. In case they aren't, you two keep talking. I too am going to rub some silver salve all over myself. <laughs> and yeah. my weapon. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to do that, but I'm I'm gonna do it so good. What if there aren't really vampires up there and he's just lying to us? We're gonna waste all the shit. All right. I got two. Probably there. Let's waste some shit. I only have one. I used it. It's fine. Uh, Lee's gonna try to open this door quietly. Yeah, you can open it. You see stairs going up. Stairs going up. Okay. Do we know? Have we found out? If I, like, cast heal on a vampire, does that hurt them? Vitality damage. Yeah, only spells that cause vitality damage, not actual healing. Oh, okay. Why do you know that, Dane? No reason. <laughs> yeah, unless, unless they have an ability that specifically says, like, healing hurts them. Alright. I see. This is a... Okay. This is healing, not vitality damage. Okay. Yeah. They can't just like use cure on them like in Final Fantasy. So things generally will do either vitality healing or vitality damage. Okay. Where the vitality healing will not affect things with like the undead trait generally, but vitality damage would only affect those with the undead trait. Okay. Uh, and same with like void damage versus void healing is the opposite of that. Uh, I I don't know. If that's true, I think if it has a vitality trait at all, it would damage. Because when it, when you go under a when you go under a spell and it has a vitality trait, it says effects with this trait heal living creatures with energy from the Forge of Creation, deal vitality energy damage to undead, hmm. or manipulate vitality energy. Okay. So I think it's, as long as it has the vitality trait, I think it is possible to use it as a damaging spell as well as a healing spell. Gotcha. I would only have an issue with that if there were, like, cantrips. Healing cantrips with vitality. <clears throat> yeah. Are there? I don't know. But I think that would probably be the only hang-up that yeah. there probably shouldn't be healing cantrips. I would agree. Yeah, I don't think there are healing cantrips, because they're okay. like basically infinite free healing. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I, if there were anything that did like vitality was vitality traded in, in cantrips, then that might be an issue. Um, but that's okay. I know that there are, there are like, there's like the heal spell. If you do like the three action for the heal spell, it's like an AOE. And I think the healing, there's more healing than it does damage for the AOE effect. What is, what does Disrupt Undead do? Is Disrupt Undead a, I don't know. I'm not sure if that exists. And it, it does. Does it? Well, it is vitality traded. Um, so, but I guess disrupt undead specifically said you target one undead creature. And uh, so here's a cantrip called Vitality Lash. It has the vitality trait, but it does not have a healing trait. So it does vitality damage only. Okay. Yeah, and Disrupt Undead also is vitality traded. Okay. We'll just use common sense. Does that answer your question, Rachel? <laughs> yes. I think so. Stabilize stabilizes another cantrip, but it doesn't actually cause any healing. It just keeps somebody from dying. But it has vitality. So you want start you want Lucian and Henrik to start making loud noises? Not loud noises. <laughs> we are wow. talking. No, we are no. talking. Like, I want you want them to be a distraction? I don't want them to be like louder than we have been, but I want them to continue talking here so we don't want some like go from like talking to silence which would be suspicious mm -hmm. don't be suspicious i like them to stay this. here and continue talking so we can go sneak around okay um 
and the wife. the priest the priest and the scared coffin maker do their best to muster up some guile. He's going to sneak up the stairs. And make a natural conversation happen while you all walk into danger. Andy, as we walk past this work... They say a few words and then it kind of gets quiet. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there a crowbar? Um, if you want to spend like 10 minutes searching... Oh, why doesn't he just have a crowbar on his table? It's fine. There's lots of stuff lying around. You gonna spend ten minutes? No, I hate it. I'm gonna <laughs> kill these vampires and I'm gonna come back and take that crowbar. Yep. All right, where are Ro and Corvus? Are you still hanging out downstairs? No, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna follow close. Yeah. We. Gotta use Waz, Rachel. Oh. Buzzed. Let's all stand on top of each other. The rap of the papas. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? We're going hold everywhere. On. Hold on, guys. You didn't pause us. Hold on. Hold <laughs> you on. didn't pause us. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> you told us to use the waz, and we did. You get to the top of the stairs. You <laughs> see two doors to your right and left. Oh. Um. At the from the bottom of the stairs, you see. Uh, Father Lucian um, walking up the stairs towards you. And Henrik is peeking around the corner and he's supposed to be staying. This guy is. Father. <laughs> he's going to get killed and it's going to be our fault. Uh, Henrik uh, points this way. He just sort of silently points over there. He's got vampires sleeping in his house. The one priest in town heard that there are vampires in one of his people's houses. He's not sitting by. <laughs> Does he have a weapon? The the priest of the Morning Lord is not going to sit by <laughs> while there are vampires in his town. <laughs> silver on his weapon? Does he, Does, Does he have a weapon? Like, truly. He has a staff. All right. He's got magic. Um, he's totally like he's level ten in his prime. So. That better be a staff of wonder. He's like gonna show us all up. He's gonna be the only character that lives. No, until Strahd so, turns. So, um, <laughs> Henrik just kind of points over towards that door. Uh, Lee, I think you were you were the lead. Yeah. Was it left door or right door? I think it's he pointed door. over here. Okay. I see a door. Uh, take pop. Pop them up. Are they playing cards pop, in here? Pop, pop inside here, you see a uh, kitchen. A simple kitchen. Um, there's a square table, some simple provisions, and a small like counter area along the side. There's another door up to the, the top end here. Is it a window? There is a window. Yeah, it's again shuttered and closed, but yeah, yeah. you can open it. I'm gonna open, open Hell all yeah. the windows that I see. <laughs> sure. Light it up. It's gray and rainy. God, this, I hate this town. All will be well. I hate this town. The worst. Of course, it's gray and rainy. Um, inside there, you see a small bedroom. Um. Mm -hmm. sleeping vampires. Uh, you see no sleeping vampires. So there's a uh, several well-made pieces of furniture. So there's a table, a padded chair. Um, there is a bookshelf right here, bed in the corner, and a wardrobe here. Are these just to the bones instead of the vampires? Uh -huh. <sighs> Damn it! Well, I mean, if they can get the bones, that's true. All right. Once I see the wardrobe. To be fair, Henrik the entire time was suggesting you guys sneak. Because he is not, it is nowhere crossed his mind at all that we should be fighting vampires. Okay. The scare cop. Once I realize this is the, is not you guys? Not the vampire room. I'm gonna come back out here and like guard the door in case the vampires wake up. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna peek in this room just in case. I'm opening the wardrobe. 
All right, um, so inside the wardrobe, um, is there a giant sack? It's two vampires. Look, uh, to the bedroom. Yes. Um, so you see, there's a wardrobe. You see some hanging clothes in there. That's it? No giant sack? You don't see a giant sack. All right. Um, yeah, he'll come back out here and like look at everybody and just give them the shaking head sim. No sack? Shaking head Where's sign. the bones, you fucking old fool? I mean, it's Ooh. possible it's, it's hidden in there. Lisa, he whispers, uh, if you want to look for a secret compartment, be my guest. Yay, I love secrets. <laughs> I'll do some investigating in here. <clears throat> do it. Uh, oh, Silas. Yeah. You noticed something <gasps> as you walked by in the kitchen. Whoa. You might, you might pull up. <laughs> you noticed um, some flakes of herbs and powder. Dusted on the on the um, on the uh, dining table there. Well, well, well. What's this? Let's find out, shall we? Herbs and powder. Oh, I'm gonna look oh, at the herbs and the dope. powder. Um, you, without testing with your um, alchemical kit, you couldn't know for sure um, what these would be used for. But you're fairly sure these are uh, several different alchemical components. Used to used to create alchemical stuff. I mean, you guys, you guys got a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> ten, ten of them. <clears throat> I'm gonna I'm gonna sit down and I'll pull out my little alchemical kit. I'm gonna clear clear off the table a little bit. Sure. Lay out my mat. Pull out my my little beakers and stuff. Oh my god. Sure. Okay, Let's start. Let's start testing. He doesn't even really say anything to anybody. He just starts starts <laughs> doing that. <laughs> um, uh, Corvus, as you're you're tapping around on the inside of the um, wardrobe, you actually find um, a the the bottom of it is false, and you're able yeah. to pull it up, and there's a hollow com compartment underneath. Hell's yeah! Is there anything inside that hollow compartment? I'll there think. are two sacks. Oh. A large one with a rattle that rattles as you pick it up. What's in the small one? <laughs> a smaller one that jingles as you pick it up. The small one goes in my pocket. Sure. And then I pick up the large sack. Okay. And then I look at Lee like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> where, where did you find that? Um. Here. <laughs> How does he have a secret compartment large enough to hold a huge sack of bones? Doesn't everyone have one? He's a carpenter. I mean, that's true. All kinds of stuff. Start tapping all the walls. Mm hmm. Bro, what are you doing? I'm just hanging out here in the hallway doorway in case vampires come busting out of this room. I want to be in between them and. So I will actually, um, my first time like, in kid. the doorway, just like with my mace ready in case the vampire busts out. Mm -hmm. Um, Father Lucian is, he's not going to stick around downstairs. No, he's up here already. He's already up half the stairs. In action. Yep. Uh, he's just watching you. Um, with a soft considering, considering watchful eye. So you guys wait in 10 minutes? Oh, hold on. 
do. It's back it up. Here. Back it up. Corvus, you get back to that place. Oh, no. I forgot something important. Uh-oh. Roll a deck save. Just gonna get over to my deck saves. Reflux? Yes. <laughs> Run Rose. Reflux save. When you so you don't actually have the either of those bags yet. Because oh. first Shit. because first you um you open up as you open up the the compartment, you um hear um, a kind of a zzz of a wire pulling uh, and a and please roll a dexterity or a reflex yeah. saving throw reflex. that's good oh that's good yeah, um, mm. uh, yes so um, you twist to the side um does it Not even lead? great. <laughs> what? Doesn't no, that doesn't, doesn't okay. leave. Um, uh, a a small dart flies flies um, past you. Um, he was making poison. Little bastard. Yes. Um, so the the dart uh, flies past you and does not hit you. Also, at the same time, at the bottom of the compartment, you see there are the two sacks. You haven't grabbed either of them yet. Okay. Also, right in the middle of them, connected to a wire that is strung up along a few little, like, eyelets um, that go all the way up to the hinge. Some sort of contraption that pulled whenever you opened the door um, is a small toy. Um... It is a... What does this toy look like? Um, it looks like the head of a man that's made out of, like, hammered tin with a jester cap and bells attached to it. And when the wire pulls it, um, it starts making a very loud sound that sounds something like... Is no fun. Is no Blinsky. Is no fun. Is no Blinsky. Is no fun. Is no Blinsky. But like, really loud. What the fuck is that? <laughs> fuck. Um, uh -huh. We're gonna five amps. I need to refill my drink. Sure are. Yeah, you should we probably do that. Absolutely <laughs> are. I'm gonna go pee. You want some initiative? My my just instinctually, I would have tried to like punch it. Just a you know reactionary. Try sure. to quiet it because it's it's too late now. So if that does anything, that I and I highly doubt it. You can you can grab the toy if you want to. Yeah, I just want to try to mute it. <laughs> you just watch me go. Uh, 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 yeah. Start grabbing it. Sure. Um. Yeah, you grab it. Does it keep going off? Um, you can roll an intelligence crafting check to see if you can figure out how to turn this thing off. You made that up? I did not, sir. Is it actually a, a crafting check? It's oh, a real it is. thing. It's yeah. a real skill. Silas wow. could silence that immediately. Ooh. You're you're panicking, Corvus. You're panicking. <laughs> Lee, I don't. Uh, uh, is no fun. Is no Blinsky. Is no fun. Is no Blinsky. Get Silas. Get Silas. Uh, Lee will try to grab the toy and smash it. Okay. You may do that. Kung Fu Punch. Is the door in the hallway, the one I am facing? Can I tell if it opens in or out? Um. It opens away from you. Okay. And it does so. It does so. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yep. 
Uh, let's see. Show. Sneaky motherfucker. Okay. Let's roll initiative. Uh, um, this sort of happens as you are doing whatever you want to do to smash this. You can pretty easily smash it. It's just like okay, uh, metal, you know, thin metal. But you can you can smash it with your hands or yep. smash it on the ground, whatever. Um, but yeah, you can break it pretty easily. It's just a toy. Um, but as you're doing that, as it grows silent, um, you hear a, um, the door opens row, yep. and you hear a voice saying... He's no fun, he's no Blinsky. <laughs> he's no fun, he's no Blinsky. Um... Oh, what do you know? My lord's new toys. Let's have some fun. Toys. And you see a um, two uh, people wearing kind of adventuring gear um, in the front. And behind them, on all fours on the ceiling, what? is a woman wearing a yellow dress, wearing a bone mask. Yep. Oops, wait, how do I show you her picture? I know. It's yeah, probably, it's a picture. It's probably fun. Okay. Mm -hmm. I refuse to look. <laughs> I refuse! It's a very tight space to be fighting stuff. Yep. Ro, yep. you saw the picture of Strahd's family in, in his tower. And you remember one of his wives that you didn't get to meet. Yep, she was out yep. traveling. You recognize this one. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, gallivanting. Cool, cool. cool. Yeah, we, All right. We got oh, I need to add everyone to initiative, huh? Let's go. Let's freaking go. Sorry, I forgot I have to add us all. There we go. Oh, that's funny. Oh, wait. Oh, what? Why are you called priest of update participant? You're not priest of Phrasma. Damn it, Corvus. I spell it wrong on purpose. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Strayed every time. Uh, initiative, I need to roll initiative. Yep. I hope you roll better than I did. You sure did. So did that person. Oh, I rolled a one. Your name sounds like a pasta lady. I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> okay. Um. Hold up. Let me pop this out. Let me just pop this out. Roll. Pop. Roll. Roll. Oh, they rolled good. <laughs> oh. Shit, that father's oh, cool. dead. Cool. It's gonna be great, guys. It's gonna be great. Volenta rolled is rolled real bad on Lucian. He gets to roll. Also, my shield might have been raised. God damn it. Yeah, he rolled good too. I'm rolling good on everything, guys. That's not great. It's not it's good. Can't get those good rolls out of the way. Why aren't I at max HP? What the fuck? Um, you should be. Probably could have been. Um, it's been a long time since we fought anything, so I, I'm not sure why. I would yeah, have, like, you, healed myself, right? Can did I you actually long HP? rest? Because yeah. That only gets you one HP. We probably rested multiple times. But I mean, times. like, with all of our battle medicines. Yeah, I'm sure you like, could have. Okay. Oh, sure. you especially. Like, you're just choosing not to heal yourself? That's, that's pretty badass. <laughs> um, I'll heal when the war is over. I'll heal when I, when I earn it. <laughs> Give these vampires a handicap. Let's do it. It says this is an extreme encounter, guys. Oh my god. Let's look for it. 
I probably is counting. It's probably counting Lucian as a bad guy, though. We'll say we'll go. With that. Oh, is he a bad guy? Is he a vampire? Oh my god. Seems, seems like good music. Is that too loud? I like it too loud. After Henrik backstabs him, he'll be down for the count. That's good music. That's good. It's like boss battle. This is boss battle music. You guys expecting a boss battle night? Let's go! <laughs> Let's do it! Uh, oh, Mr. Bone, I right. expect us to die. <laughs> Getting counter. Vampire spawn one. Um, great. So... Um, is going to... Um, go... Five up the wall, fifteen onto the ceiling above your head row. Yep, yep, yep. Twenty twenty-five to get down over here. So it's gonna climb up over the over ya. Mm -hmm. A little too loud music. A little too loud. A little too intense. Let's go. Let's go down. Let's go. Alright, so it's going to be over here, one move, um, then it is going to um, strike at the um, Oh no. I gotcha. <laughs> I gotcha. I gotcha. All of your rolls are here. Yeah, it's just private. What's private? Okay. Everything. Anything you're doing. So private. Oh. Just trust me. Just, just, trust, <laughs> just me. trust me, you're dead. You don't have to trust me. I'll do it again. Oh, <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, make him do it again. You don't have to trust me. Oh, okay. Such a pretty dice, too. Oh, okay. All right, twenty damage as it. Twenty damage. Yes. From a critical hit as it stabs into you with sneak attack. So I don't oh, click shit. double. I just click damage. You just click your damage. That that's already doubled. Oh, to Do you want it doubled? No. <laughs> but I was like... Get out of there, bro. Get out of there. Uh, for its third action, um, it is. It bears its fangs at you, and it is going to grab you. No! That makes so you are sense. now grabbed. You mean I can't hit it? No, you can, you can hit it. Um, but it just gets to grab you for free, so you're now considered grabbed. Okay, the one that jumped over me grabbed me? Um, what's that? The one that like, climbed to the other side of me grabbed me. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um... Cool. That's its whole turn. Son of a biscuit. And... Next one goes. Man, I rolled good on these guys. Uh, this next one is going to attempt to strike you as well. Remember all those combats I had where I pulled real bad guys? You're not supposed to save them all for one. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Alright. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. I'm down. That's it. I'm done. Okay. 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 Uh, with a quick ambush, the two uh, vampires. Uh, oh, Corvus. Fuck. <laughs> Down row. This one is going to um, move over. Actually, no. I think he's going to uh, step over. Uh -huh. oh, I don't want you to go downstairs. Damn it. Going to when he leaves the battle. Wait a bit. 
let's no oh no oh no stop it this thing get out of here I don't want you there um sorry my my guy went to the ground floor I gotta fix him so you are now 10 feet up there we go he accidentally stepped on the stairs and then he went downstairs. So he's gonna he's going to attempt to do the same thing. Second action, he's going to move over to the other side of Lucian. And third action strike at Lucian. Lucian uh, So they're not actually using oh Jesus. Um regular hit. Um Okay. okay. Oh! Priest of Phrasma, no! He's not a Priest of Phrasma. We're, we're dead. I think Rose Initiative is supposed to change, too. True. I, um, I thought it does it automatically, but... There we go. Um, did you take the... Uh, did you take your damage, Rachel? Yeah, she's unconscious. What do you mean, did I take my damage? Okay. Yeah, I'm just wondering why I didn't... Did it give you unconscious? Yeah, uh, she's got a million things on her. Does she? Yeah, I think yeah. I'm unconscious. Okay. Weird, I don't see it. I'm, oh, no, I am I'm grabbed, I'm off guard, and I'm immobilized. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, so yes, you're unconscious, prone, and all that. Um, Lucian. Oh boy, Lucian. Father Lucian. So, I think he is going to... You shall not have her, beasts! Um, and will cast um, a heal on you. Mm. So he's just going to do... Um... This is for you, Ro. Mm -hmm. There. So he heals you. 3d10. Uh, and that was his one action heal. And then he's going to use two actions and cast. Um, spiritual weapon. Mm. Get it, get it, girl. So he will stop. Stop. So he is going to uh, cast spiritual weapon and attack the one that's right next to him. You guys can't see any of this happening, huh? Mm. <sighs> All we hear is old man shouting. Oh, oh. He did not critical, guys. Okay. Um, you hear you hear shouting. You shall not have her beasts. And then a scream of pain from some otherworldly creature. Um, that is Lucian's turn. But is he now is a floating uh, morning star? Uh, is floating? You see this row floating morning star behind the vampire spawn. Silas. Dope. Uh, take one action to move back here. You got her. And then I'm going to, um, I'm going to reach into my holster of 
potions and draw a little vial that I then shake up. And uh, I'm going to throw it. I'm going to strike with it. I'm going to put you back where you were, Rachel, because that would be really shitty for you to like, knock it again. Uh-huh. Because Lucian got you so fast. Yeah. yeah. Mm, no whammies. Yeah. Nice. That's good. No whammy. Got him. All right. Um, so I use this. Bleep. Mirror bottle contains oh. various chemicals that dissolve into emissible solvents. <laughs> Shaking the bottle introduces chemical reactions, causing it to glow for one hour. The bottle sheds bright light. During this hour, it can be thrown like a bomb. This requires a single action to activate with a bomb. strike. So that would actually be two actions, because I drew it and interacted it to shake it, and then I'm striking with it. Mm. Um, uh, the bomb deals 2d4 vitality damage, but... Uh, undead with a particular vulnerability to sunlight, such as vampires and wraiths, take the maximum amount of vitality damage from the nice. bottled sunlight. Oh shit, that's nice. Ass. For any ability that depends on the number of weapon, dice, uh, sunlight count, uh, okay, so hit him, I'm going to damage him. And this has splash damage too, which oh, yeah. is in a five foot radius, I believe. Well, now we'll find out if Father Lucian's a vampire. That's right. It also causes fire damage, so sorry for <laughs> anybody who... Yeah, I think only the vitality splashes, though, which is the good news. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, okay, so it takes the maximum... Maximum vitality, so it would be... So... So, 16. So it's already, yeah, it's already got the 8. In there. Oh, okay. What's the plus? Oh, I see, I see. Four, though? Fire. Four is the fire damage. damage. Extra. Two to four fire damage. This damage. Oh, the splash is got the cumulative. Commun commun got it, got it. Ah, it does not like that. Um, it burns, this thing burns. Not only does the, the fire burn into its flesh, but you can see the, the light itself is sort of making these um, ashy pockmarks all over its skin as it starts to melt down to the sinew and, and muscle underneath. Um, I don't remember. Can we move, action, move? Or is that, yeah, sure. is that a thing? Okay. A move, a move is an action. A move oh, five sorry. feet. You can't, you can't, can't, split your... can't split move. Okay, I didn't think so. You take a second move action, but... That's that's it for me. I'm I'm out of actions. Nice. Run. I'm all out of love. Um, so, Ro, yeah. you are still grabbed. I'm gonna say you are not prone, but you are grabbed. So basically, this thing was still holding you up as you went unconscious. Okay, so I'm not prone. I am grabbed. Let me. My weapon is on the ground. Uh, you would have dropped your weapon. Yes. You fool. So I am unarmed, and I cannot get my weapon. You can grab your weapon. It's an action. Okay. Um, this thing's preventing you from moving. You're immobilized, so you can't move. Okay. You're not. Yeah, you're immobilized, so you can't move. Okay. okay. But I grab my. Okay. I mm -hmm. grab my weapon. Sure. I. Um. Raise shield. Yep. And then I'm going to attack with my mace that I just picked up. You got it. Oh no. I'm just spending the hero yeah. point. Doing it. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Nice. Um, Add the silver. Okay, it says silver. Yes. The silver, silver and gold. Oh, nice! It moved you guys up to the uh, automatic striking rune because you're level four now. 
so she did the 2d8. Um, yeah, so you are considered silver, so it's going to take this damage. It it looks unworried at your weapon until it hits it, and then it obviously is hurt a lot more than it expected to be. Um, and it flinches back, and it is not not happy right now. Oh no! Will it go of me? Nope. What if I get bit? Oh. What if? What if? Yeah, combo vampire werewolf. I've seen that movie. It worked out. Yeah. Alright, that's my turn. One, two, cool. three. Um, Valenta. Nope. Um, the voice behind you, <laughs> as your back is kind of turned to her, saying, That's a pity, isn't it? You're a little less ex impressive than I expected. Oh my god. I hate them all so much. These assholes. Um, and she. She has a lot of tricks, guys. She's got a whole bag of tricks. Let me pop this out. Yeah, it might be an extreme encounter. It's fine. You guys got this. Um, she is going to uh, make. Use a hail of daggers attack against you. Uh, One hail of daggers. Oops. Target you. Target you. Target you. Okay. Hail of daggers. Gotcha. Not a critical hit. Oh. Because of your shield, Rachel. Oh. Because of your shield. Oh. 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 Raising the shield. Otherwise, it would have crit you, for sure. <laughs> oh. All right, here, let's, okay. let's go. Shoots you for 13 as the daggers slam into your back. Oh, my God. Yep. You're still up, though. Barely. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Look at me over here. Tanking, you're all welcome. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah, a lot is happening before anyone else has even had a chance to move. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm so glad I said I was guarding the door. <laughs> um, her second, oh, she is going to reach. Fuck. Yep. That was yep. just her first action, dude. Yep. Um, yep. She is going to Hmm. I think she's just gonna do it again. She undaggers you. Oh fuck. I missed you. Oh okay. okay. I rolled a two. Okay. Um, Roll the two. You plus thirteen. Yep. Yeah. Mm. On the second attack. Um. You have plus thirteen on your second attack. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, we gotta kill her fast. She's like the mini boss. <laughs> oh. She's what? She's she's a bride of Strahd. Oh, 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 oh no. You think you think he, you think he marries chumps? <laughs> um. And she goes. Annoying. Um, and will uh, she is going to try an intimidation against you, bro. So, this will be get intimidated versus your will DC, oh. <laughs> which is Seven ten hard. plus. Her, and she's saying, "I'm going to take my time flaying the skin off your friend's bones while you're unconscious." 
I just get 10 plus my thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to beat a 32. Are you 10 below a 32? Oh, shit. I have a plus 12, so I'm at 22. Okay, so she beats you by 10, so you are oh you are frightened too. Oh, I'm sure that's, that's good. The good that's news fine. is, if she holds you to that, we have a chance? Maybe? It's going to be great. Frightened too. So you are you are shaken because yep. after the beating you've you've taken yep. you, you believe her. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, all right, that is her turn. Next is uh, Corvus. It's Corvus. Corvus. It's Corvus. Sorry, I was, <laughs> the, the the encounter tracker doesn't work when I pop it's it out for some reason. Corvus. Um. All right, fuck. All right, I uh, I start singing rather loudly, and I roll a performance check. Um, fuck. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that is a crit. Um, Dude, get it. So this composing composition. I sing real good for four full fucking rounds. Um, <laughs> without sustaining. Uh, so everyone can get that because it's sixty foot emanation. Um, emanation. And I'm hoping it automatically does it, but Courageous Anthem gives plus two to plus one to saving throws against fear. So, uh, and then make sure you edit it to four rounds, please. Okay. Thanks. A um, little late there, friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, nice I was busy more. stealing things. Um, all right, that's my first action as I begin to sing a wondrous tune about, I don't know. So you can click the edit button, I see. Four rounds. Yeah, 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 I'd make it four rounds. And then... Are you doing it for Lucian, too? Um, yeah, because I have no reason to think he's a traitor yet. Okay. Yet. What about Henrik? Is he the, the douchebag? That's and he's the guy downstairs. Yeah, he can he can die if that's fine. I'm not cool. I'm not including him. Um, exactly. And we decided we can walk through people. Mm -hmm. Like our 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 friends. All right, excuse yeah, me, excuse me, willing, excuse me, willing. Excuse me. Um, okay, make it. All right, that's my first action. Oh, this second is action move. Such a. Bad idea. Yeah, second action move. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Oh, this is a bad idea. Okay. I am going <coughs> for my third action. Oh, that's two actions? Mother Fuck it. I'm hitting this bastard. Um, I'm going to use my... Quick draw, and um, draw out my rapier, and strike the guy in front of me. Nice. I say. Uh, Hundred percent forgot that Irene is here for this. I'm gonna say. Right. Oh fuck. She. It's fine. She's somewhere. <laughs> Hiding in a chest somewhere. That that I opened up that thing. Was like get the fuck inside, and then I closed it. That's right. There's a lot going on. Oh. Maybe she was. She's keeping watch over Milavaj to make sure he doesn't do any mischief. Oh, you got him! Oh, oh man, oh. a crit on my rapier! Yep. Oh, I'm so excited. Do I have to hit the crit damage? I do crit, right? Not damage. So you click, click the critical button. Courageous and and my deadly D8. Yeah. Okay. Oh fuck! It's <laughs> really good. What does it look like? It oh hell yeah! Um, <laughs> I come, I come like I don't know. Um, I come singing about um, lend me your ears and I'll sing you a song and I'll try not to sing out a key. And at that, I kind of like pull my rapier out and just stab it right through him and then pull him down to the ground. And mm. then I, I, uh, I kind of smile and go, "Sorry, I was a little late." And then I continue singing. <laughs> All right, so we can get rid of some of your stuff, Rachel. You are no longer grabbed. Bam! 
which gets rid of a lot of the stuff. It me. almost makes up for me almost getting you killed again. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, the 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 rogue who is like burned all over its face and it has like smoke coming off of it uh, stumbles in disbelief. And its its face just sort of like smushes sm into the ground as if it's like kind of melting as it falls. Nice. That's three actions for you. Yep. All right, Lee, your turn. All right. Um, let's run up here for 20 feet of movement and see what the fuck's going on. All right. So through the doors, you see um, hanging from the ceiling over here, there's a woman in the yellow dress who is holding holding daggers um, and is chucking them at Ro, who appears real shaken right now and bloody. Real bloody. Uh, how high is the ceiling? Ten feet up. Okay, so can I punch her from the ground? Um, you would no, not be able to. I would say like <laughs> you could probably do um. Hmm. I would say if you if you took like a leap action right before your attack, I would I would allow that. Okay. Something like that. Uh. Because I think you could reach with like a jump, but I think you'd have to do like an action to jump. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Where's where's the basic? More like a leap. It's like a basic action, I think. Uh -huh. One action. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to, like, I guess it'll be two actions to move and then leap. Cha -cha. And then I'm going to try to leap and then grapple her. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> loop into her. Got it. So that, and then it'll be my third action is the grapple attempt. Yes. Oh, very nice. That's a good her. roll. Fortitude DC. Uh, Fortitude DC, that does succeed. Okay, so uh, she is grabbed. Yes, she is. Okay. Um, so I will say she... Um, she falls to the ground with you. So she is now she is now um, grabbed next to you. Let's see, give her grabbed. Shaboom! There she is. Got her. All right, that's uh, three actions for me. Nice. All right, then the other vampire spawn. Um, Valenta, as you grab, she says. Oh, he wants to dance. That's cute. Um, seeing or hearing. Hmm. Wonder what this guy's gonna do. I think he's gonna spend a full two actions because climbing up to the ceiling, climbing over. And two actions to climb down here. And then is going to stab Lee, who is accosting his mistress. Um, so yeah, Vampire Spawn's going to attack you, Lee. Okay. Gotcha. Not a credit. I only crit Rachel. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> yep. Uh, that should have been sneak attack. Let me because I get one because you are you are considered off off guard. I don't know why it's not doing the off guard. That's fine. Um, so you should also get to sneak attack damage. Precision. Uh, so yeah, um, he he sneaks up 
behind you. It's it's actually a claw that rakes into your back. Um, but that was all three of their actions. And to Father Lucian, um, who is going to, for one action, will bring his... He will sustain his spiritual weapon and bring it around to... Um, Attack, not Lee. That was really good. Really good roll, though. Oh shit! Still a good roll. Damn. Um, right. So he smashes into the vampire spawn. And then is going to cast a, another heal spell on a row. Um, actually, um, yeah, he's going to cast heal for two actions on you, row. Oh, damn. He reaches out to you and... Actually, he doesn't even reach out to you. He just leans on his staff, turns around. He's like looking a little bloodied. And he says, Don't lose hope, child. <laughs> you get healed a bunch. Nice. And that's his whole turn. He's running out of spells fast. Yeah. Savas. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, 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 I'm gonna cook up with some quick alchemy a ghost charge. Ghost. And then I'm going to throw said ghost charge at. Valenta. Perhaps. Yep. Ghost charge. Ghost charge. Rolling. Mm. Oh, they were all Have over some the place. vitality. And it also has vitality splash, which would not affect uh, Lee. It doesn't quite reach the other vampire. Is it? Yeah, that's okay. Feebled, or is that just on a critical effect? Uh, it takes damage. Uh, the target that takes damage becomes enfeebled one until the start Feebled of my next turn. Enfeebled one. What does that do? Penalties to strength rolls. Uh huh. That's it for okay. my turn. Nice. Um, she. She she immediately looks up uh you. Um she's got like the crazy eyes with like, weird, crazy dilated <laughs> people. She, and she looks up this like weird crazed grin. And she says, Ah, oh, we got a tinker with us, huh? Let's play. Oh, I don't wanna play. I just wanted to hurt you. Um Bro, you're up. <laughs> okay. All right. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Feeling good. Um, Wish you. You're breathing. Yes. Frightened two is just a penalty, right? I can still try things. Yeah. So basically, frightened two is just like minus two to everything. Okay. I am going to. My ratio goes away right unless I re raise, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, it's, a, it's gone right now until you, re until you spend an action. I'm going to. Mace attack the one next to me. Sure. Oh, nice. nice. Good roll. Oh. Would have been a crit if you weren't frightened. Uh -huh. mm. Strong. Strong rolls. Hell oh. yeah. Oh, nice. 
frightens two. Yep. Um, It'll slowly go away on your turns. Right, I'm trying to start, like, what would Ro do if she was feeling that scared? Mm -hmm. Would she be pissed enough that she would... What, what does a frightened Ro look like as she smashes this, this vampire to death? Uh, she's definitely breathing really hard. Uh -huh. Usually she's pretty, like, calm in battle. But she's got like she's got, like wide eyes and she's breathing really hard, which is not normal. Um, but I think she hates this. Um, and I, think I think she has, has enough, enough training that she's gonna overcome it. And I think she's gonna be reckless instead of cautious in battle. Mm -hmm. Um. Which means she's not going to raise her shield. Okay. And instead, so she's going to charge in to collide. I can't go there. So you're in like difficult terrain. Okay. Oh yeah, you move diagonally. If you hop up onto these boards, yeah. it'll just be like difficult terrain you're climbing up onto. So okay. it takes ten feet of moving to go up there. So that second action gets me there. And then third action, instead of raising the shield, which would be the smart thing to do. Why didn't this expire? It should have expired. So that's your raised shield expired? It, yeah, it should have expired, but it didn't. It did. Oh. You just have to right-click to get rid of it, because it, it says expired on ah, it. Ah, I see. Okay. Um, and then... <laughs> She's gonna take a wild swing. At an ulti. Wild swing? Um, with my mace. Smack her. Sorry, I just realized she's like in the middle of terrain right now, so you guys can't even see her. There she is. Okay. Yeah, she takes a wild swing. Nice. Wild so, swing. Breathing hard wide out. Down, 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 down. <laughs> Sweet. Valenta's turn. She is going to Don't do it. use Nimble Escape. Because she's like the Nimbly Bimbly one. Um, okay, she's, so she's going to attempt an escape versus your athletics. 10 plus your athletics, I believe. Sounds like that'd be right, which would be 23. 23! Alright, she's about even keel to do this. Um, so, I'll just be making a, essentially her claw attack. And I think it should automatically... 25. And that was with the Enfeebled. It did factor in the Enfeebled. So she does escape. So she she twists, and you can almost like hear twisting and crackling of cartilage as her body contorts in unnatural ways. She twists around and immediately will make a move um, as part of her escape check since she succeeded. Okay, I do have I can have a reaction when she moves, so I get to uh... do it. Right. You may, you may. So she is no longer grabbed. Punch her. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, uh, too bad it wasn't critical. Otherwise, it would stop her movement. Not right, critical. Oh, good, good, good hit, good hit. Oh, no silver, though. Okay, let's see if it works. Yeah. It did work. She takes decreased damage from that. Um, so oh, I forgot. The start of her turn. Did it automatically do this? It didn't automatically do this. She heals at the start of her turn. Oh, what a turd. As her, as her wounds begin to bind back together. So she's going to move... Uh, she's going to crawl up along the ceiling here. Um, mm -hmm. so, 
So yeah, she's going to, I'm going to put her like 20 feet up. Nope, that's not it. 20 feet up. Damn it. There she is. Good. Um, so she's going to be up there, ceiling above you guys. Um, Ro, since you're up on these boards, you can actually reach her. I'm going to say from each of these like piles of boards. Mm -hmm. um, if you guys, you might not be able to see them super well because I drew them hastily, but they're supposed to be like vision blockers. But these piles of boards, you guys could climb on and, and be able to get to her. Okay. Uh, so she's up there. Um, she is going to second action. Um, throw. Actually, she can move pretty far. She's going to move over here. Um, she is going to throw daggers at Euro. No. First, she's going to pull. She's going to quick draw a bomb from her pocket Ooh, good. and throw a glue bomb at you, um, Lee. Critical miss. Fail. So it splashes harmlessly off to the side, and this big spot of glue sticks to the ground. Um, and then she is going to do another hail of daggers attack at Euro. Annie, does her nimble escape? Can she do that <gasps> free? Jesus, why? So she gets to make an escape check. Oh. Um, and if she oh, succeeds on her escape check, she can move for free. Oh my god. That's badass. Okay. I just hit damage, right? Not double. Or do I hit yeah. double? That's critical. That is that is the critical damage. Okay. That is the critical with your map attack. Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a natural twenty. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one was a natural twenty. Um, that is her turn because she did an escape glue bomb, and her glue bomb is done. So okay, that's her turn. So we're up to Corvus. Far away from you are you and me. Fifteen feet, I love it. Um. Okay. So first, actually, I'm when gonna... does when does her enfeebled go down? Never. I think it's either start or end of Silas's turn. Got it. I am going to reach right. out my hands, and I am going to cast. Using one action, gravity pull. Okay. That sounds good. I don't think you should go anywhere, and I'm gonna try to pull her ten feet towards me. That has gravity because it grabs so, you. Gravity, gravity, gravity. If I do the three action one, it targets up to five creatures. Uh, are you doing a uh, single action or double action? Single. I'm just pulling okay. ten feet. Got it. Damn it. Regular success. Um, where's my notes? I don't know if it does anything on us. Success, nothing happens. Yeah, I don't think anything happens. I agree. Uh. <laughs> she says. <laughs> Well, says the vampire. Shit. Well, I think it's just you and me, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make her my duelist challenge for my last action. Okay. It really only gives me a benefit. Okay. Or maybe okay, I okay. put it on her. I think you put it on her. Apparently, I tried to put it on me. And I um. Because I get a bonus if I attack her. If I attack anyone else, I get a minus. 
Got it. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. Then we go to Lee. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, first action, I'll take my mountain stance. He's third action. with some vitality damage. And then, where is that? She also needs to make for my Stunning Fist, but she's a higher level than me. She is. So it's probably, unless she crit fails, nothing will happen, but she needs to make a Fortitude save. Fortitude save. Making the tude. Yeah, so nothing happens. Okay. Uh, and that was one, two, three. Yep, three actions. Once the pews are stained with your blood, my love will see my true value. Lucian's turn. Um, Lucian's gonna walk up in here. And he will say... Okay. Yeah, he is going to cast protection. Um, says. Uh oh. Crying child. Uh oh. He's going to say, I think not. And he will cast protection, targeting. Um, I choose an ally. Um, so he's going to choose Lee. Um, uh, so everyone in that gets plus one to armor class. I don't know if that's actually going to apply, but. Um, Maybe. We'll find out. Um, but yeah, he's going to move in. He's going to cast protection for two actions. Oh, we can um, drag this spell effect. Otherwise, I... Oh, yeah. There you go. Otherwise, I don't think it'll uh, do anything. So he's going to cast protection. Everyone has plus one to their AC. Um, Silas... Ask me. Um, let's see here. One, two, three. Uh, what else do I got here to throw at her? I guess I'll do my last one of these. So I will activate it for an action and then strike at her for an action nice not bad not bad yeah. not bad that's bad pretty bad uh, pretty hero bad. Point, yeah. point hero point that um i gotta 
put it back in my inventory though. Oh, oh, just one. Oh, I think her enfeebled should wear off too. Yes, she should no longer be enfeebled at the start of my turn. I'm right on. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, oh. uh, yeah, one more hero point, so I'm going to use that. I need two hero points. Oh, no, I only have, we only have one at the start of each yeah, of them, right? Yeah, two, okay. Mm -hmm. I missed. I missed badly, and that's the end of my turn. Miss badly. Miss so bad. All right, all right, all right. Uh... Is she okay? She bumped her ear on her pillow. Oh. Does her ear hurt? I think she just... Woke up? Yeah. Okay. It is your turn, Rob. Um, she, she's on the ceiling over there, and she's getting punched by Lee. My token's showing up in two places for some reason. That's weird. I'm not sure where I actually am. Um, you are here. Okay. Um. Am I still frightened too, or does that go away once per round? Um, it would have gone down one last turn, so you can right click it once. Okay. You're just a little bit frightened now. Right. Um, I'm gonna. Can I reach her if I go here? Um, sure. Uh, no, no, because you're on the ground now. You're on the ground floor. So only if you're up on those piles of boards could you reach her. And if I'm across from her, I can't reach her? Yep, you'd be ten feet away. Okay. Um. I mean, I have all these, like, spells prepared that I thought might be helpful in town. Not fighting a vampire queen? Uh. Yep. Did you guys think you were going to fight the Vampire Bride tonight? Mm -mm. Did not. Oh. I thought we were going to rough up some, you know, locals. Everyone else is fine, right? It's just me that's a mess. Yeah, at least heard a bit. Lucian's heard a bit. Swing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll say if you do like a jump action, then you can take one attack, one one attack action against her. Okay, I'm just gonna like jump out of her and attack. Sure. So you can jump. It's just a free thing. You can jump ten feet for free. So you would like end right there. So as I jump, I'm gonna attack her. Okay. <sighs> nice. Got her. She doesn't like that. Alright, so it's a jump action and attack. That's two actions. Third, Third action, action, I'm gonna raise shield. Okay. Don't you have the silver on your weapon, or does that not? I do, good? but I think it, like it show, it shows up there. I don't know what it's doing. Mm-hmm. But it says like there's a little silver. Okay. Marker there. Yeah, the I'm it's aren't affected by silver. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems to be hitting her normally. Doesn't seem to be resisted. Okay. Um, Near death. Start of her turn. She's gonna heal. Sure, sure, sure. Um, she is going to. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, 
and take your best shot. <laughs> <laughs> she is going to toss a alchemist's fire. That son of a bitch. There are three of you back there in a nice little group. So I think she's going to toss one. Say. Hey, freshman, can you make one of these? She's going to toss a um, moderate alchemist fire at you. Moderate? Yeah, man. No, I can't make one of those. <laughs> almost. Almost. Wait, why does she have a minus two range penalty? She's only ten feet away, right? Yeah, but she's in the air. And she's tossing it at Lucian to check out. Isn't she 20 them, feet up in the air? More than 10 feet, yeah. Well, but you are 10 feet up in the air. I am? Yeah, because we're on the second floor. I see. So she's 10 feet in. What's, 10 what's feet. the range increment on those? Uh... I have a feeling these are a little weird. I had them like auto populate. No. 20 feet range increment. Yeah, she's totally within 20 feet of you. So, I only asked because that would make it a critical. Critical. So, 36 fire damage to you. Oh, damn. <laughs> um, and four ongoing fire damage. Hmm. Um, Lee... Corvus and Lucian, I'll take two splash damage. Two splash damage. I took it. Um, so that was our first. Now our alchemist fire is gone. Um, and. She is going to She's gonna strike a claw strike at you there, Lee. With her map. With her map. Alright, let's go. Get it, get it, girl. Oh come on. Hell yeah. I miss you. I said your best shot. I miss you. <laughs> um she third action I think is going to move back this way. She's moving out of your range there, Lee. Yep. No, not a No No Lee <laughs> The rolls <laughs> Alright, that's her turn. Uh, Silas is on fire, y'all. Uh, Silas, I can't. Mm. Silas! Alright, Corvus, it's your turn. Fuck. Um, uh, so, I'm pretty sure... Let me double check here. Um, I think I can leap for free. Quick jump! Yeah, you can also... As far as fire, we haven't done this too much. You can actually spend an action to try to put it out if you... If you can, like, basically, like, kind of role play away that's happening, right? Um, like, if you find water or if you had a blanket or something, you could try to, like, put out the fire and give him a free recovery roll to put, a, put, to put out the fire. If you want to. Um, 30 feet, huh? Well, I'll let you know after I make this roll. Um, okay, so Corvus starts spitting insults, um, you undid wench to a cursed lord, woman of hell, um, that's all I got yeah. for the night, uh, right. and I cast right. Blistering Inviction. There it is. Okay. So she has to make a DC save. Got it. Uh, 
Okay, you take half the persistent damage, but okay, you still get this. I don't know why I just did that. That's weird to me. Oh, that's the nice. persistent damage. Um, persistent fire damage. So she takes half that right now. Um, or is that? Uh, my words deal 2d6 persistent fire damage, and the target must make a DC save. Okay. So uh, it almost sounds like it does, and then it takes persistent damage. There it is. Perfect. I applied it. Um, and applied then, it, I guess, you said I can use an action to kind of put out a fire? Yeah, yeah, basically... Um... If you had, you, you can't just like, you have to have something to do it with. You can't just like use your hands or like I say, was, I'm doing it. I was like, going to use my cloak. Sure. Um, you whip off your cloak? Yeah. Silas, you hear a very disgruntled, this is my favorite cloak. And I just right. like start patting <laughs> you down. Awesome. That's, that's my last action. Um, I think... Uh, I have to wait till my turn, but I get to roll an assisted recovery roll. Oh, assisted! Because I don't take the damage until the end of my turn. Okay, so it doesn't let you do a roll right now? Uh, no, I can't do it. I don't think I do it right now. I think I do it on my turn, but I have an option to roll an assisted recovery roll. Uh. And I think it says, assisted recovery, you can take steps to help yourself recover from persistent damage, or an ally can help you, allowing you to attempt an additional flat check before the end of your turn. Gotcha. I think I think that this is... is usually an activity requiring two actions and must be something that would reasonably improve your chances. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to say then you're maybe just using the help action okay. for this one, if it, if it normally takes two actions there, Abe. So you can take like the help action... So why don't you roll um, athletics, acrobatics? One of those would be fine. Okay. Medicine? No, not not medicine. <laughs> roll it. Hey, so you'll get you'll get plus two bonus my flat check. on okay. your flat check. Yeah. Don't fuck it up. All right, that's cool. That is officially my turn. Bitchin', leap. Strategic position on one side. All right, she is she is above you now. You you don't have the oh she's up in the air again. She's oh. yeah she's she's up in the open air. Uh... Crawling okay. piece of shit. There, I'll delete the. I have these terrain markers around pallets, but there's like piles of wood around. I'll drop the mountain stance. I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna do like a leaping, leaping grab. I didn't even think about her messing up your mountain stance. Yeah. What a happy coincidence! <laughs> what a lucky coincidence! Yes, yeah, so I'll spend basically all three actions to do like a leaping grab. Yeah, that was good. And no, Chris. Oh, no, why? <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's it. All right. <clears throat> uh, it's an ability. Um, okay, so you, is that athletics versus his fortitude? Yep. Okay, never mind. Not a critical failure. Not a critical failure. Okay, cool. Um, next up is Lucian. Um, Lucian is going to <clears throat> uh, 
He's going to cast a spell on you. Life connection. Um, he says, Don't worry, boyo. I won't let you die. Life connection. That is his whole turn. Does he immediately die because oh. Silas is undead? But I think that uh, that protection circle moves with me too. I sure does. Yes, it does. Um, uh, how do I select that? Is that drawing? No. It's under yeah, measurements. Circle, yeah, circle template. All right. So everyone, drop your protection unless you're within that circle. Damn it. Felt good about that. Um, cool. That's his whole turn. Silas, you're up. Okie doke. Um, you are all right. Fine. So I'm going to roll my free flat or my not free, but my flat check that I get before the end of my turn from Abe helping me. So I'm going to do that first. Stop dropping rolls. So Abe, Abe didn't have the two. Abe didn't have the two. Um, so. What it says here, though, so I so because he didn't take the two actions, he's had a generic not, help him eight, eight action. But I think I can take two actions. Oh, okay, sounds good. So it says you can take steps to help yourself recover from persistent damage, or yeah. an ally can help you, allowing you to attempt an additional flat check before the end of your turn. This. Usually, uh, this is usually an activity requiring two actions and must be something that would be reasonably, or reasonably improve your chances. Are you, are you stop dropping and rolling? Yeah, so I'm just, yeah, I'm trying to pat myself out. All I'll right. Take two good. actions to do that. Um, and yeah. I got a 19, which is a success. So I get to remove this. Right click. Uh, which I have a single action left, and with that single action, I am going to drink my uh, life elixir of life. Sure. <clears throat> I will consume it. You it's... feel a strange <laughs> vitality connection to Lucian right now. Oh. A vitality connection? Mm hmm. Touch on the beams. All right. Rachel. Uh, lose my frightened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to charge in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing my base at her. So she's up in the air. You'll have to uh, do like second action to jump or something. Uh. Can my move include a jump? Or it, it cannot. Okay. Um, uh, although, where were, where, are you, where are you before? You were right. Yeah, no, actually, that's fine. Right, so I move and jump. Yep. Well, yeah, it's just uh, your leap is your action. I leap. Okay, I leap 10 feet. Sure. And I swing at her. Alrighty. You hit her. Hell yeah. yeah. And then I'm going to raise shield. Damage. I'm so these things are automatically it's I couldn't fix it to be except magical silver so that's why it's still applying damage reduction but I'm, I'm adjusting for it okay. trust the numbers behind the numbers <laughs> these, these are doing full damage all right and then I third action I raise shield all right <sighs> stop Bothering me. She's looking hurt. She's looking hurt. Except she is going to heal. At the end of her turn, she's going to take the persistent fire. So she's on fire. Oh, like she doesn't like that. Um, nah, man. Or drop down to the floor. She ain't scared. Roll it out. Um, <clears throat> She is going to. <laughs> Is 
throw a thunderstone down at you, Lee. Oh, no. she's, she's doing good, guys. She's doing good. Oh. So 26 sonic damage, and Ro, you're going to take two of that. Okay. Must succeed at a DC 20 fortitude save. Or Correct. Okay. Uh, Rachel, you also need to roll a DC 20 fortitude slash? save. I just take the splash damage? Uh, yeah, just the splash damage. And then I roll, let's say the... Fortitude save? DC 20 fortitude. Mm -hmm. Nice. Alright, you guys are both fine. Um, and she is going to... Um, One, two, three, twenty-five. Oh, shit. Um, hi, Silas. <laughs> it's okay, you'll just be unconscious. That's right. Um, she is actually going to drop down next to you, lick her lips, and saying, feeling hungry and she is going to try to grab you oh my um so this will be athletics versus your fortitude dc this is a minus how do, five. I, how do I tell my what my fortitude so DC only 18 against... 10 plus your fortitude save uh 18 yes uh, 21 would be my fortitude save. Though. Okay, so she does not grab you. She attempts to grab you, but you arrest yourself from her grab. I'm hungry. She stamps her foot yeah. a bit. Uh, she She's looking pretty wounded, but she doesn't seem to be very, like, plussed by the fact that she's very wounded. Um, oh, she takes damage at the end of her turn. Three damage. Burn. I'm on fire. <laughs> what fire? Oh, recovery check. Oh, she's so lucky. Look at that. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right. I'm rolling good tonight, guys. Lee, you're up. Oh, sorry, Corvus, you're up. All right. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up there. Sure. Uh, first action, I move up. Second action, because why the hell not? I'm gonna say to her. You're not making it back to the castle this evening, my lady. Um, and I'm going to roll an intimidation check. Because I'm demoralizing her. Sure. Um, do I roll this? I'm rolling it. You bitch. She's um, very, she is very willful. It was worth a shot. And then yeah, I stab her in the face. Um, yeah, get her. This should have... I don't know if it does. We're going to find out in a moment, but... Oh! oh fuck yeah! There we go. <laughs> big rolls, big rolls, uh, Abe. Strength, constitute... Okay. Wait, is your shit silver too? Yeah, it is. It is I lathered myself up. Silver slabbed. Come on. Just say it. That'll do it. Just say it. She's near death. Real oh. near death. Abe, well, oh, are you fixing Abe. it? Yep, fixing it. So, yes. What, what does your attack look like? Uh, so I'm I'm going right for as she's like I'm on fire. I just right through the skull, uh, and then like push her off. All right, um, you stab up upward, um, through her, and. Her body, she lets out a shrieking wail. Her body twists and contorts, and um, 
you see a flash of red in her eyes as you hear a popping of sinew and cartilage and her, her body starts to contort in weird ways. Um, unnatural way, she bends backwards with her neck and her head almost like touching the ground behind her. Um, she has a thing. She has a thing. No. I'll just put in my notes. She has a thing. Right. Phase one is done. Oh, shit. <laughs> um... She, as she's reaching, she's twisting in pain and reaching backwards. Uh, you see this small Silas, you would recognize this in your, in your readings as a smoke stick, like a smoke, smoke grenade of some kind that she crushes in her hand and a 20 foot diameter area around you guys is obscured by fog. using this so she is going to you hear um, crash of glass behind her uh, behind okay. through the smoke window you do see a flaming form because she's still on fire. <laughs> um, streak out the window near you guys. Uh, the window seems to be like cracked along the uh, the latch area where the wood is splintered. Um, but she disappears from view because of the smoke. I'm not going to draw the smoke, but there's smoke around you guys. And you hear like a bestial snarl coming from her. Um, you catch Silas, you're right next to her, so you probably catch a, a glimpse of her um, uh, unnaturally moving in like this backward cr cr crawling, like yeah. clap formation. Um, and this snarling bestial version of her sort of charges through the window as the smoke starts sort of billows out around you guys. Would you guys like to continue combat? I know, like, we have to stop tonight anyways. <sighs> Are you going to try to chase this bestial second form? <laughs> probably it's one of you could catch her. It's not even her final There's probably one person in your group who might be able to catch her. Yeah. I think I think Lee probably would make the attempt. We might try to do it. Yeah. Okay. You probably could. I don't know that anyone else could, but you probably could. All right. Well, as we're going to put a pin on it from here, you guys have a week to think about it and decide as the first of Strahd's brides, for now, escapes through the window into the night, into the mid-afternoon of a lackey. But it's late. We should probably call it there. Yep. That was fun, guys. Man. GG. I want to chase her down. Good times.